creating this vintage romance smoky makeup. So first I'm starting off with my raised paste in deep and I'm just popping this all over my lid using a concealer brush from Zoeva just to give a nice base. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline On The Go Bronze Cream Eyeshadow. I'm putting it on quite heavy so it's got a lovely metallic finish to it and just blending out the edges. I love this colour. Now I'm going in with this colour from the Vintage Romance Sleek palette and just popping it on top of that on the go bronze. Just onto the lid up to the crease. Now I'm going in with this beautiful warm matte brown from the palette and I'm just popping this right into the crease and I'm using a MAC 217 brush here. I'm just concentrating it on the outer corner in that crease and then just brushing the excess up and then in towards my nose. Just using really light strokes just to build it up. I'm going in with this purple now and I've just popped a little bit on the corner. You only need a really little bit because this eyeshadow is really pigmented so just go little and steady or you'll end up with a big bruised looking eye which, which isn't really the one you want. So I'm just going to go backwards and forwards now in this corner and I'm just pushing it into that crease colour that we've done and on that outer corner. Now you might choose to wing this out, I like quite a rounded shape so I sort of do more of a C shape rather than a V shape and I'm just pushing it in towards the inner corner again and now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just blending that outer edge into that warm brown shade just to create a lovely blended soft look. Take your time with it, make sure you do a little bit at a time so it gets a nice even finish. Now I'm going back in with the darker gold colour and I'm just pushing this into the middle of my eye just to give a little bit more shine and a little bit more of a ombre little look. I'm taking a really bright gold now on a detailer brush and I'm just popping this right in the inner corner and my tear duct just to add a little bit of brightness and my Maybelline gel eyeliner. This is my favourite and I use a MAC 266 angled brush to just draw a line from the centre to the inner corner of my eye and then I follow the bottom of my eyelid and draw a little flick and I'm going to join those together. You can do this wing as big or as little as you want, as thick or as thin as you want and you can use any sort of liner that works for you. So this is looking quite thick, so I'm going to start lengthening out the corner, just using the very tip of the brush to give that nice little flick. And I'll go on to the other side and just make sure they're both even. Next in with foundation, I use the number 7 one in Warm Sand. I'm just blending that in with a Real Techniques brush. And I've got the matching concealer, it's exactly the same colour, so I use this for any sort of imperfections that need a little bit more coverage. And then I'm going to take my erase paste and just go underneath my eye in a little V shape. I'm now going in with the purple shade and popping it underneath my eyelid and just blending it across. And I'm taking that same colour we put in the centre and just filling in the sort of inner third. I'm going in with the glittery black in the palette and just adding a little bit of intensity to the outer corner at the bottom and just going back over the eyelid just to add a bit more depth. Curl those eyelashes and mascara. 17 Falsify HD Mascara is going on first and then I'm using my Max Factor 2000 Calorie Lash Mascara just to give it a little bit of length and volume. I love both of these. My Rimmel Brow Kit. My brows are exactly the same as I did in the last video so have a little look at that and a MAC cream blush and I'll put the colour in the description box. These are really pigmented so just use a little bit or a blush that suits you. Bourgeois bronzer, love this stuff. A little bit of a light contour under the cheekbones and the temples and then I'm using a BB Lips cream from Boots and this is the first look but we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to go in with a dark glittery purple and I'm using a pencil brush just to really push this into the crease. So I'm not blending it too much, it's just to add a bit more of a cut crease type effect and just a little bit more depth to make it a little bit more dramatic. And I'm taking that colour underneath as well and dragging it down a little bit lower than before. I've now took the black and I'm just going to go back over that area to 
add even more intensity into the outer corner and just blend it inwards. And again, I'm going to put some of this underneath as well, just to add a little bit more drama. Just keep blending till you get the look you want. And there we go, just underneath to intensify. I'll take some of the gel eyeliner inside my eye as well. Again, use what works for you, just adds a bit more intensity. And that's a slightly more dramatic eye there. You could add some false eyelashes, but I'm gonna add a dark berry lip instead. Any lipstick will do. This is a limited edition one from MAC, which they've done a couple of Christmases ago, and I'll put the color in the description box. But you can get a berry color anywhere these days. Um, so just do, again, ones that you, that you like. Don't wear one you don't like. And that is the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you soon.